Okay, this is the Malapert Smart Wrestling Podcast. We're going to talk about that Hagman Page, Swerve Strickland, Texas death match from Full Gear. Yeah. I know it's been a few days, but we have to get Vlad, the wrestling expert's opinion on this. Because this was a spectacle, to say the least. It's gotten a lot of buzz, this match. Yes. Some, for a number of reasons. Some people praising it, some people just destroying it, right? Some people just hating on it. Well, it, it was one of the more hardcore matches I've seen in wrestling, which is saying a lot because there's been a lot of people who've tried to top accolade of being the most hardcore crazy yeah. match. But as a little bit of background, okay, if you guys didn't know the story of this angle, Swerve Strickland broke into Hangman Page's house and was like literally in front of his baby and stuff mm -hmm. and you know talking to the baby and this so this is we like a promo on the baby yeah this is a little this is a blood feud because you don't break into a man's mm, house blood feud sure <laughs> that's why in the storyline this is supposed to be a gusher no, not being a gusher is one thing what everything else they did in between that we we're gonna about to show is something else yeah so let's go through some of this match this was in los angeles which we could have went but we didn't we no. decided to like get drunk instead yeah <laughs> <of> exactly <laughs> just decided we watched it the next day but here's the intro the prince nana entrance oh, yeah. which we could show a little bit this may bit. have been the best part of this <laughs> whole thing well I, my family's been praising Prince Nana's charisma that's his move that's his move right he's got incredible charisma this guy <laughs> yeah I mean look at him I, I mean I can't move like that yeah he's really good dance that part too yeah that move is really funny <laughs> that, one's just, that one's just that one's just ridiculous he's practically a choreographer over here <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing that somebody's been praising Prince Nana. My mom loves him. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, she watches him, some of this too? My, yeah, we, we've just showed her Prince Nana. That's it. We, only, we didn't show her anything else. But okay, so let's go through some of the highlights. This sure. is a really long match, probably like 30 minutes, but we're only going to show some of the hardcore stuff. So already uh, Swerve Strickland's bleeding. Oh, they brought out the staple gun. And a staple gun... Hagman Page's kids Drawing. drawings on the bridge yeah. to, to Page's face. Sure. And he's already gushing, he's bleeding at the forehead and everything. And this this is the part where everybody was talking about the the controversial part, I guess. With with Swerve, Swerve Strickland dripping blood and Hagman Page literally just puts his mouth under it and drinks his blood. That's how much he hates it. And this, look at this, look at this moment. This is a moment in history. Yeah, one of the most disgusting moments <laughs> in wrestling the, history. Look at the crowd. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, well, these guys are, d I mean, I'm not gonna say they're dumb, but they are, they're marks. But the thing is, this is, uh, I mean, this is fine on an independent show, but to do this on a, on a nationally broadcast, well, I mean, pay-per-view quality show with a known brand that has a, like, a TV deal, it's fine when you do it in front of like 200 people that are just that pay 20 bucks for this and whatever and nobody's gonna see this anywhere anytime but people actually watch this company enough people do that and they're on turner broadcasting okay look i understand the controversy of it it looks bad yeah. it looks bad for the layman for yeah. a regular person oh if, I, I know what you're about to say if but, you were and, I, and, I'm, and I, believe it or not i might agree with you, if but you go ahead. if you were there with your girlfriend and and they, they were watching this with you and they thought you liked this they would leave you that's, oh, they were, that's not the right that you were gonna go. No, no, no. That's that, that, I'm saying that. Yeah. But also, I'm saying this moment yeah. when he turned away and looked at the crowd mm -hmm. and did, you know, that he's like hard. <laughs> yeah. Because he has the blood. He has the blood of his opponent in his mouth. That was, to me, I don't know why, but it was one of the coolest moments in wrestling history. I gotta say. Not, I can't go along with that. Not a, not the coolest, like in in that sense, like greatest. Yeah. Like, but it was it was a moment, man. I'll it, never forget that moment. It was a moment. I will give you that. It was a moment, whether you liked it or not. It was a moment to be remembered. I mean, I will say, despite me like criticizing the hell out of this match, and and we'll get to more of the criticism that I have. There was definitely some entertaining parts of this thing for a hardcore match. I don't I mean, really like hardcore matches. Like but. entertaining and just like being in awe of what they're doing to themselves and, and just what is happening. I mean, you, you couldn't help but laugh at some point because it was so ridiculous. But that's part of the entertainment for me. So why, yes, I think very little of the type of style of match that they had and what they were trying to accomplish. I still chuckled and laughed a number of times. 
because of what they were doing. Well, let's go through the yeah, let's just, go, let's go just through some of, of the spots because yeah, there's a lot more. This, the, yeah, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, we thought the drinking the blood thing would be like the the craziest thing in the match, but it probably still was. But there was other crazy things. All right, agree. let's see what else. Okay, so the staple gun came out and Swerve hulked up like a like a good guy and said, you know what? I don't. This this was something the old heads of wrestling would get mad at that the bad guys yeah. kind of. All of a sudden, he was not selling the stapler, yeah. stapler shots anymore. Yeah, it's a babyface spot. It's, yeah. it's, for, it's what the good guy would do to make the crowd... At this point, he was the babyface. I guess the so. The crowd was rooting for him. A lot of the crowd does root for Swerve Strickland. No, I mean, he, yeah, they were rooting for him in this match. You can definitely say that much. All right, let's go to the next crazy spot. Mm, sure. Let's see what else there was. Okay, I don't, the barbed wire backflip onto Swerve Strickland. This was okay. I'm not a fan of the barbed wire no, stuff because it's, it's obviously fake barbed wire, so... Whatever with that. They did a lot of screwed up stuff to themselves, but there's glass. There's a glass spot. He's gonna do a, a bat, uh, what is that, a 450 no, onto the glass. No, what, what kind of sense would that make? Yeah, How is that a good move for, to, to do to somebody? Yeah, you're hurting yourself. You're that hurting yourself just as much as anybody doesn't else. Doesn't make sense. You're probably hurting yourself more. <laughs> I would say so, because you're going stomach first into this thing. You're the one taking all the impact. That's a bad, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he has some cuts on his back. I mean, there's, there's another spot onto a wooden board, barbed wi barb wire board, I guess. Yeah. That was set up in between two chairs. More power bomb onto the barbed wire. Still, still doesn't put him away. No. Okay, I mean, this is this is killing the business, man. See, e this is not only killing AEW's business. This is killing the business as a whole. Well, sure, because. Oh yeah, sorry. Well, well you what? know, you you take the words right out of my mouth. Well, I was just gonna say because if somebody's gonna get up from all of this, uh, what's to stop somebody have, actually try to have a normal match and then they're just not gonna be able to? It, you, it makes know? the people who have a normal match look bad. Bad, they're of like, course. Oh, they yeah. can't even kick out of like a DDT. But did you see what these two guys did to each other? They were kicking out of stuff, right? They went through everything. The the one I don't think you, I don't know if you have in your clip is when Swerve to put Hangman through the the cinder block head first. Like he did his driver on. Oh yeah, no, I didn't save that one. Because because it, because it was a fake cinder block. I understand <laughs> that it was a fake cinder block in the scheme of things, but it's supposed to be a real cinder block, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's why I didn't cut that one out, but okay. No, I mean, I'm just saying, and then he got up like a three from being knocked out on a cinder block, for God's sake. Yeah. It, it was insane what they were doing in this match. What is this one? Oh, this is just oh, this Brian is because Brian Cage came in, so yeah. like, there was interference. I mean, okay. Which Brian Cage? Okay, if there's a no DQ match, yeah. you're gonna br come in just outright and interfere. Well, why don't you do it at the beginning then? Yeah. Okay. Just start out like make it a handicap match. I don't, sure. I don't get. I never got that. But okay, the logic of that one always escaped me. Prince Nana took a bump through the table, which I don't know why he thought the dance was gonna. Pre prevent Hangman Page from... It's like a Daniel Garcia thing. Yeah, he's it's, like... It's, like it's, his, it's his offense. He was trying to make him laugh. Be like, all right, this guy made me laugh, so I won't kill him, but he killed him. Sure. At least Prince Nana stayed off TV for Dynamite after that bump, so at least yeah. at least that's good. And then the ending, finally, after 5,000 things... That Don't I forget that he also hit him with a cinder block again, and then he put him in this weird yes, choke yes, thing. Yes, I know, but the cinder, cinder block just, like, turned into powder, basically. <laughs> Because that's what happened to a cinder block. So, so he hung him. Yeah. He hung Hangman Page, Black Man, hanging the white guy. I guess they, oh, well, at least it wasn't the other way they around. They couldn't have done it the other way around, but it was still, that's pretty cool, I guess, at least. <laughs> you got revenge for slavery? Is that what you're saying? In a, in a way, I guess you could put it that way. But okay, so that's the end. Okay. Bro. All right, go ahead. Say what you have to no, say. No, but I, I think there were some people that I, I read one review early on that said that th this made swerve and this was like, somebody said it something to the effect of this is like the Brett Austin thing and where Austin got so much over after that Brett match. I was just in, in sense, first of all. I mean, maybe in today's era, yeah, it's the equivalent. But I don't even think it's in the same ballpark, in the same sport, in the same <laughs> game, in the same universe. Well, he did get a huge pop when he came out for that first Continental Classic match on Dynamite. That when the crowd saw Swerve, oh, yeah, Swerve. <laughs> he has a, a newfound respect Swerve Strickland does from the people. Whatever, bro. I, I think it's it's laughable to someone to compare that, that to that, that he's going to be made from this junk match. It was mostly junk. At, at least the Brett Austin match was just a great match that was logical in the fact that it, even though it was kind of like a no DQ type thing, the only thing that they had in common was somebody bladed, but it wasn't like, 
insane like what they were doing here. It was just a, a normal, hard-nosed, edgy type of match that was ahead of its time in, in, at that time. This had all the basic hardcore tropes of this era. But they did everything to each other. It was yeah. insane. It was, they had the glass. They had the, they, they did the, the, the barbed wire. The barbed wire, the tables, the, the, the chairs with the barbed wire. Do you have any respect for them for taking all that damage? No, I think they're dumb. <laughs> I mean, I think you have to be dumb to do that. I'm sorry. You to, what is The point of it, wrestling has always been to not hurt yourself. It's supposed to look like you're hurting yourself, but you're really not. That's the art. Not to actually go out there and have scars all over your body and actually blade and drink the other person's blood because he's actually... The, the blood part has is, is always been a part of wrestling, so you can't really say anything about that. But the fact that that was the last thing people thought about, well, except for the drinking of the blood. People definitely are talking about that. But the fact that there were so many things after they were both already bloody that happened, it was even the most important thing that they both bladed, you know? And the fact that the baby face lost this <laughs> yes <laughs> after after he got his house broken into yeah. a lot of bad things he didn't even to, go over which was amazing even win so he's lost both matches to swerve now and yes in a sense they did put a swerve over but it's definitely not like for this fan base it might be though well, but for who was AW Paige fan... Paige was not anywhere near like the Bret Hart level like Paige is well he was a former AEW champion yeah. well, I, I mean considered by many the worst AEW champion yeah. By any standard, you could probably say he's been the worst one so far, even worse than Moxley. You know, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what people think of this. I don't see how this is going to get swerved to the where he wants to get. I think this was just a garbage match. I don't respect what they did to themselves because it was ungodly unnecessary. I mean, I in a sense, you give guys credit for taking a beating, but it's just dumb. It's just it doesn't do anything for anybody for themselves or anybody else. So. Respect, not really. Um, I mean, I guess you could say that they showed balls, maybe, that to, to do this to themselves. But this yeah. isn't, uh, I don't know. I can't, I'm trying to stay, say something positive about it because I don't want to be all negative. But, but I mean, obviously, I do think this was a disaster, too. All right, then. So we had to put our review out for this. That's what it is. Do, did I like it? Yeah, well, yes, I liked it. <laughs> I I, I'm sorry to say, I'm a little embarrassed to say that no. for some reason, I kind I don't like hardcore matches. Yeah, I usually don't. I think they're all stupid. They all do the same thing. But for some reason, with the angle, it kind of worked for me. I don't know why. It wasn't the worst hardcore match I've ever seen. But yes, I do believe a lot of this kills the business. Well, Not only AEW's business. If I was WWE and I saw this shit... I would try to put AEW out of business somehow because these guys are really fucking killing the business. Absolutely. You know, it just looks. I agree. It looks stupid. It, it makes everyone else look stupid, especially WWE guys. No, I mean, there's a place for street fights and hardcore type of matches. There's a way to do it. This is not the way to do it, in my in my opinion. I've seen good ones, like I said. I just mentioned the one that was Austin Brett, and there's been plenty of others that are like where guys blade and they're taking. But that wasn't a hardcore match. It was a submission match. Yeah, but know? it was but, a little. But, but it was kind of no. I, if I remember, there was. They used chairs. There was there were, people were bloody, so it seemed like every. I forgot what the the actual rules. But there stayed. wasn't anything like unreal. Like AEW. No, that's what I'm saying. It was all based on realism, right? AEW is, is insane. They go over the top. They get they can't, to the point where it just doesn't make any sense anymore. It always gets to the point in these AEW matches where you're like, all right, for sure that's it. He's yeah. not gonna kick out, and then he kicks out. And we're like, we're like, what the fuck? All right. Well, how can you kick out of some of the stuff that they were doing to each other? Power bombs and power drivers through. Uh, barbed wire tables. I mean, how is the next guy supposed to even follow that? Like, the next match, if I was the next match, I'd be irate. And I'd be like, God, God, like, just that should be like, that should have just been the closer of the show then. You know? I mean, yeah, that's true. That could have been, could have been a lights out match or something like that. Yeah, they something did. like that they did at the very end. If that's what they're going to do, if that's what everybody knew was going, there's no way I'd be like, oh, I'm not following this. It's insane. Like, it would be insane to follow this. But anyways, yeah. All right, all right. Well, we got to go, guys. That'll be the end of this segment. Please stay tuned for more wrestling talk on our channel. Subscribe if you want to get notifications when we post. But thanks so much for watching. If you like this match like I did, put it in the comments. If you didn't like it, put it in the comments for posterity. But thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.